Darren Scott here with Clear H2O Tackle, Tackle coming to you from our shop here in Michigan. Whether you're a tournament bass angler that travels the country, a Lake Erie walleye fisherman, Great Lakes salmon fisherman, or whatever else you might chase around, we're here to help you. Feel free to contact us via our Facebook page, website, or telephone. We're happy to talk with you and walk you through your needs. Tight lines and have a great season. Hi everyone, welcome to Michiana Outdoors and I'm going to be showing you some really cool ways of rigging a drop shot worm on a drop shot hook. This is exposed, considered a nose hook, a Sagama Gatsu G Finesse, really really good hook. Uh, there's basically three ways of rigging it. Uh, now the traditional way is uh, the nose hook where we used to stick it through the nose and that creates more twist and the worm's not really connected and it moves on the hook. The proper way to, to nose hook is to run the hook straight into the head and then come out like so. So you have to point right there. And this is actually kind of weedless. So you hit a tree or a piece of wood with it, it won't stick into the wood as easy. So that's how I nose hook. And that also connects the worm to the hook. It's way, it's way more action. You get, you get more of a pop on the worm when you're shaking it. That's by far way better to me. Then the other way I usually rig a worm, um, and this is good on straight tails around where it's a, pretty much a wacky rig, go through the middle of the worm, somewhat like that, and that's a wacky rig. That's a really, really effective way. I do that a lot. I've, I've won a lot of tournaments doing that. That's just a good, really good way of working it. Got a lot of action. Both ends of the worm move when you work it, and, they, and you hop it, you get both tails rigging. The only drawback on this compared to a nose hook is it sinks very slowly. So. You got a lot of drag, especially on a bigger worm. This is a small worm here. Now, how I've been rigging, um, I almost don't nose hook. I nose hook suspended fish if I'm catching vertical. Sometimes I only do that. I, I rig it the way I'm about ready to show you. And a lot of guys haven't caught on yet to this. I've been doing it for about five or six years now. And uh, I named it after a friend of mine. His name's Scott Gilly. But also, you're hooking it about where the gill is at. So this worm actually has a gill right here, but I'm going back about maybe a half inch. This is by far the coolest way to rig a drop shot worm. I'm going to put it on and show you. Okay, this is called the ghillie rig. And you can see it's not nose hook and it's not a wacky rig. The benefits of this is it sinks faster, but the whole time this thing sinks, what happens is this head wants to, and this, has, this works on not just this worm I'm throwing, it's a robo, but it'll work on any worm. It works on four inch, just round, you know, like a finesse worm. What happens is this, this head is, and when you pull it against the water, when you pull the worm, it wants to bend, but it's not enough to, like a wackery, to create like too much drag. So what happens is this, it lifts this piece up slightly like that, and what that does, it makes this whole back of the worm kick. So instead of just getting a little, like both tails kicking, now you have like this, this part just violently kicking. And it's, it's so much kick is, even when you're in like 30, 40 feet of the water and you're on a long cast and you go hop a ghillie rig and you actually feel the vibration in the worm for, with a 60 or 80 feet of line out. That's how much vibration you get. You can't get that with a wacky rig. A wacky rig you really have to feel, it has to be calm out and you can kind of feel a little bit of a shake. This will actually shake your rod tip with 80 feet of line out. And by far the best way I've ever rigged a drop shot. Uh, that's how I do it. That's how I do it almost all the time now. That's called a ghillie rig and it's very effective. Try it.